Hey, Jesse. Welcome to the lobby. Hey. So nice glad to, to have you. you. Yeah, you. absolutely. Well, this is exciting. Uh, Celebrate Recovery, also known as CR to some, in case yes. we use that abbreviation, um, is a powerful ministry. I think that sums it up in one word, but we know that it is a vast ministry. And so I want to start at the beginning. Can you tell us just the, the basics? Tell us uh, who you are, who, what Celebrate Recovery does, when you meet, just to kind of take yeah. us back to the foundation of your ministry. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, Celebrate Recovery isn't AA or NA. It's not an alcoholic anonymous. Um, if you're struggling with drugs and alcohol, Celebrate Recovery can help you, but it's more than that. It's for all hurts, habits, and hangups. Yeah. And whether it's drinking or, or alcohol or spending or whatever, uh, that's just a symptom. Uh, Celebrate Recovery is a Christ-centered place that um, really gets to the core in the heart. And, um, and it, you can't really do that alone by yourself. Um, I feel like you, you have to do that alongside other people. So Celebrate Recovery is a place to follow Jesus with other people transparently and honestly and vulnerably. Um, and being honest about your struggles and about your weaknesses is, uh, well, the world tells us to not do that, mm -hmm. uh, but but in that shouldn't be uh, something that we're afraid of to do in church, mm -hmm. um, and it's a, it's a safe place to be welcomed and to not be judged, uh, but I understand there is so much uh, fear and hurdles to even coming to celebrate recovery, yeah. um, and <clears throat> I want to acknowledge that fear, but, uh, you know, like Pastor Dale says, we, we tend to grow outside of our comfort zone. And so I just encourage you uh, to join us. Um, it's a place where you can walk alongside other people and um, not struggle alone. Mm -hmm. uh, because we all struggle. We all have hurts, habits, or hang-ups at some point of our life. Yeah. Um, and Celebrate Recovery is right here at Foothills at, uh, in the multi-purpose room from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And from 7 to 8, uh, we have a time of worship and we uh, have teachings and testimonies uh, that are super powerful. And then the last hour is small group, gender specific, where where men we men meet with men, women meet with women, yeah. and just able to share your heart in a safe, confidential place. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just been so encouraging seeing the growth and transformation that Jesus has yeah. has done in people's lives. Absolutely. So this season, we've alluded to it a little bit, has been so challenging, talking about how great this message is today. Uh, tell us what you're seeing in CR. Um, why it's important to maybe step out of your comfort zone during this time where you've already experienced so much obstacle and struggle in 2020 just because of what the whole world is experiencing experiencing through this pandemic, but also what the holidays bring. I think one thing that you mentioned was um, isolation and how that's not good, but we know that the flesh tends to recoil and isolate when pain right. happens to us or someone hurts us um, or shame starts to overcome us. And so can you speak a little bit about the people that um, haven't taken that first step yet, maybe speak to them, yeah. um, you know, and and why this is such a great ministry for them. Right. I think uh, one of God's missions for our Celebrate Recovery is to abolish isolation. Mm -hmm. And isolation is where the enemy has the most control over you. Yeah. And um, our feelings, as real as they are, are not always true. And our feelings want to tell us to, to hide and run away from any painful emotion or painful uh, feeling. Yes. And when we do that, I believe when I've done that, I, I become more isolated mm -hmm. and they, I give more control to the enemy. And going to celebrate recovery is intentionally stepping outside of your comfort zone in spite of fear and just being open and honest. It's mm -hmm. stepping out of the shadows into the light. And that's where you're going to experience healing. That's where you're going to experience growth. And, and wholeness and with your with yourself and with others and yeah. with God and and I believe celebrate recovery is a place that that happens every single mm -hmm. week and it happens because Jesus is there and doing the work and it happens yeah. because because people are willing to be open and honest uh, with other people mm -hmm. and uh, to, to do it alone Jesus yeah. can't really be followed fully by yourself in my opinion Jesus it can be followed more fully when you do it with, with yeah, other people. Yeah, corporately. Absolutely. Yeah. It reminds me of how much Jesus loves the church. Right. And, you know, we do it together. 
and I love that so much. So there's a couple things that come to mind when I think about Celebrate Recovery, and that is the powerful testimonies that we get to hear. Oftentimes, um, if you've ever been to a picnic in the park service, um, you hear those, and they are so moving and so powerful. We just wrapped up the um, Living a Life of Trans Transformation TNT series that Pastor Dale led that was so good and so powerful talking about that. And you guys exemplify that, and you testify um, what Jesus has done in your life, which is amazing. I love that. I also just adore, if you've been around people in Celebrate Recovery that they have, you know, experienced the gift of CR in their lives, yeah. they seem to transform in a way that I, I can only explain it in, they adopt this language of grace. Mm. It is so loving, it is so kind, it is so inviting, and it truly is an invitation to go to CR, go to Celebrate Recovery and experience that for yourself. Um, I love that you said it, and it sounds so simple, but Jesus is there. Right. <laughs> you know? And so, lastly, as we wrap up here, is there anything else that you want to share in regards to that? It can be, you know, transformations, um, you know, that right. you see God doing, or, or just people that you want to speak to today. Well, I think, one, uh, this period of time and Christmas is really tough for a lot of people, and maybe some of you are going through uh, this Christmas for the first time mm -hmm. without... Uh, loved ones, um, and uh, CR happens, Celebrate Recovery happens every Friday night from uh, 7 to 9, and uh, on Christmas Day is a Friday, so we're going to meet on Friday night. It's not going to be a normal Celebrate Recovery. We're going to have a, a Christmas party, but uh, if you have nowhere else to go, if you want to you wanna be alongside other uh, people that are intentionally following Jesus mm -hmm. in a safe atmosphere, uh, would be glad to have anyone come join us on uh, on Christmas Day um, for a couple hours in the evening, uh, especially if you're struggling uh, and that's a time where you would maybe be isolating or mm -hmm. there's not people around you for whatever reason. Um, step outside your comfort zone and be be with some other people. Yeah. Uh, but Jesus is there, and uh, other people uh, are there to to welcome you and love you. Yeah. And uh, it's a safe place, and, but. But coming to uh, to CR just one time is is kind of you're not going to feel safe just meeting someone one time. So I'd encourage you just to continue to go um, if Absolutely. you if you decide to go and and um, you will feel safe and mm -hmm. you won't be judged and you will be loved yeah. and it's it's an amazing place to experience healing and, yeah. and hope. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for being here. I just adore your passion for this ministry um, and really your sacrifice. You, you, like you mentioned, you're going to be there on Christmas. So you guys meet every Friday, no matter yep. what holiday it falls on or that sort of thing. And that's a beautiful gift to give people, especially that don't have a place to go. And right. so um, if you find yourself in that situation, what a treat that would be to come to church and uh, be with others. And so please do so.